I had struggled for years dealing with problem skin. What I had affectionately nicknamed low-grade acne was a constant issue in my life. And while my skin had been mostly clear during my teenage years, I had regular breakouts as an adult, some lasting a few days, some lasting weeks and months. One friend mentioned my acne was tied to my hormones, a problem especially common for women. Still, another friend said it was connected to stress. As a busy adult with a family, I had my share of stress. I could relate to both causes. If you have this problem too, the solution I found might surprise you. Hi, I'm Jeannie and welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to share with you a remarkable discovery that not only ended my problem acne, but improved my overall health and well-being. I know it sounds incredible, but when I look back, I'm surprised at how simple it all is. Like many of you, I looked for skin solutions on the internet and on social media, but the advice wasn't that great. One website or another tried to sell me a magical mixture of soaps and lotions or offered some questionable homegrown cures. Apple cider vinegar, tea tree oil, honey masks, zinc, fish oil, walnut huts, the list seemed endless. I've tried many of them, but they didn't work. After a visit to my doctor, I was given both oral and topical medication for short-term relief. My doctor told me the problem was my digestive tract, or using the fancier word, my gastrointestinal tract. I have to tell you, I was really surprised at that news. I had no idea my gut had anything to do with better skin. So this is what began my journey to understanding gut health. Our gut is the pathway our food follows as it enters and exits our body, and yes, we generally think about the stomach and the intestines when we think of the gut, but gut health is not just about digestion, it's the epicenter of our mind and body. Our gut is a complex, interconnected system that hosts trillions of microorganisms. Collectively, the fungi, bacteria, and viruses living in our digestive tract are known as the gut microbiome. They are the unsung superheroes working 24 seven to support our bodies with every element we need to maintain our healthy bodies. They convert what we eat into the essential fuel that keeps our fantastic human machine working effectively. It's a small society living and working within us. Much like a team of heroes in a blockbuster movie, each member having a specific task and power to protect our health and maintain our body's balance, it's more than just providing fuel for our bodies. Nutrition science has identified a complex signaling system between our gut and brain. This connection, known as the gut-brain axis, sends and receives electrical, chemical, and hormonal messaging, which regulates our heart, digestive process, overall immune system, and even aspects of our mental health. Imagine, our very happiness can be tied to the happiness of the bacteria in our gut. I had the classic signs of poor gut health, skin problems, occasional bloating, constipation, constant fatigue, and a lot of food intolerances. I also learned that my poor gut health put me at risk for chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and sleep problems. So what does it take to actually have a healthy gut? How could I fix my skin problems and avoid exposing myself to all those unhealthy conditions? I was shocked to learn I was missing only one thing that could change my unhappy gut into a healthy gut. So what is a super nutrient? The one nutrient that everyone should know about? One so powerful it will help clear up my skin, reduce the risk of disease, and improve my mental well being? The nutrient that only 5% of Americans get enough of <laughs> whole food, plant based fiber. That's it, fiber. The stuff that's found in plants like apples, oats, and beans. Whole plant fiber, in its original form, is the good fiber we're supposed to include in our healthy diet. It naturally supports a healthy microbiome, feeding the microorganisms in our gut, which in return produce the chemicals that boost our body system. Fiber feeds us and takes out the trash. When I don't eat enough plant fiber, not only do I starve the good microbiome in my gut, but the waste of my digestive system builds up and lingers, causing unwanted problems like bloating, pain, diarrhea, and irritable bowel syndrome. When I realized the power of food as medicine, I made a conscious decision to prioritize a plant-based diet. Now I know there are plenty of expensive supplements being sold to make us think we're feeding our microbiome correctly. You've probably noticed the includes prebiotics or probiotics on the labels in the supermarket. The sad truth is these products aren't a replacement for the fiber naturally found in vegetables, fruits, legumes, and other plants. 
Why not just eat an apple? Enjoy a serving of protein-rich beans or eat a colorful stir-fry loaded with vegetables. For a healthy gut microbiome, I found the more whole plant foods I added to my day, the happier my gut was. It was easy for me to create a meal plan to get the variety of plants I needed. I start my day with a bowl of oatmeal topped with berries, and I include a salad and fresh vegetables like cauliflower or green beans with lunch and dinner. Here are two secrets you should know. All plants have the fiber you need to stay healthy. The second secret? Only plants have the fiber we need to be healthy. Every small dietary change I made was a step towards better gut health and each step made a big difference. The bloating, which reduced my energy levels, improved and my skin cleared up. Every day became a culinary adventure. Now I love to explore foods that promote gut health. Fiber-rich foods are a staple in my diet. Legumes, grains, brassicas, fruits, nuts, and seeds all have a permanent place on my plate, each providing a unique blend of nutrients that support the gut health I need. My journey into gut health has been life-changing and it is a journey of self-discovery. I've learned the importance of listening to my body and giving it the nutrition it wants. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. There are plenty of nutritional resources available. I'll leave some links below the video. Be sure to check them out. I read all your comments, so be sure to let me know how you're doing on your journey to a healthier you. Be sure to check out the next video in this health and wellness series. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy a nice piece of fruit. Your microbiome asked me to tell you that. Cheers.